this is a firing board from an Allen Bradley PowerFlex 700 drive. It fires the gates to an IGBT in order to control the output to a motor. This IGBT has catastrophic damage from a fire or explosion. We need to determine if any of this damage carried over to the firing circuit, as these leads here are tied directly into this board. Our focus is on this optocoupler. Here we have a diagram of the optocoupler. There is an LED internal to the optocoupler. This junction is so that when the LED is on, it's on, and when the LED is off, it's off. This is the power to the IC. The output here is what we will measure using an oscilloscope. We are expecting to see a good diode waveform when we check it with the Huntron. When we apply AC voltage, we will be looking for a good AC waveform on the oscilloscope. We have set the power a little over 15 volts to ensure we hit the threshold. But before we apply power, we will connect our leads to the negative and with the power still off, to the positive. This will ensure that no voltage will hit any pin it is not supposed to. We will first do a static check, which is looking at the waveform without power being applied to the board. This is a good waveform. Now we are ready to apply power to the IC. We will use the oscilloscope to measure the output. We are looking for a good AC waveform, and this is a good one. We will continue to check all these optocouplers, do capacitance and ESR checks on the capacitors, and check the diodes and the connections. Once any bad components are replaced, we will check this board in the drive and make sure it's running properly, and get the customer back up and running.